Well, once once the economy gets back on its rails, once the consumption comes back, I'm sure the private sector will also come forward. Today, a major part of the private sector is not actually working to capacity. It's working to 60 or 70 percent of its capacity. In this situation, how does one expect the private sector to come forward and put in more investment into new capacities? So this is going to be a combination of a few things. But once again, Dr. Munjal, you know, and you, you, for example, are in an industry which has manufacturing. You're the world's, like I said, the world's largest uh, two-wheeler manufacturer on this planet. At the same time, the sales that have to take place. Um, if consumption is not boosted, uh, how is all of this going to happen? Well, we have to understand that the government has to look at the, the entire canvas. Sometimes some of us look at parts of the canvas which interest us. The government, if hasn't done something for one sector, it has done another thing for another sector. So all in all, there is money going to be pumped into various different sectors. All of that is going to generate employment, which in turn will then bring in money into consumption, bringing consumption back. And then the whole cycle begins. The investment cycle comes back. So to my mind, things will be fine sooner rather than later. Okay, that's a great headline that things will be fast uh, sooner, uh, better sooner than later. Now, Dr. Munjal, I can't have you here and not ask you this question. You heard the finance minister talk about EVs, batteries. Uh, what did you make of it? Well, it was music to my ears. I mentioned this yesterday as well. I'm a big fan of sustainability. And clearly, the focus that government is showing around sustainability, around a cleaner and a greener future, for us and our future generation, a digital future, there was talk about battery swapping. We ourselves are getting into battery swapping and interoperability, the green bonds. All of this is, is a very good thing to happen for the nation. The entire globe is moving in this direction. And we have the infrastructure in place. You know, you are, of course, the world's largest uh, two-wheeler company. But we have the infrastructure in pay place when we talk about this EV push, uh, the battery swapping. Do we have the manufacturers for it? Manufacturers for battery? Yes. Enough for the oh, kind yes. of scale we're talking about. Yes. Well, you know, the demand is now starting to come up. Hmm. The supply will also happen. Okay. Earlier on, there were a few suppliers of, of battery cells. Today, as the demand rises, we are already seeing so many companies applying for the PLI scheme. So many companies around the globe increasing their capacities. Very soon, we will have enough and more cells and batteries. Okay, so that's uh, great news, and I know better than to ask you about your EV plans. Uh, you've already announced that's going to be in March, and you've already told us you're going to get into battery swapping as well. Dr. Manjar, you know, something else you recommended when we're talking about this space was that maybe you, we could incentivize decarbonization by having a lower tax rate for India Inc. This is a government that doesn't wait for the union budget to come out with reforms. Um, do you think that's going to happen sooner than later? Well, with all that is happening around sustainability, green and EVs, and we've already seen some of the states coming forward with very attractive incentives, I'm pretty confident going forward there will be more states coming forward and put together with the center, combining all the schemes. It is going to be a very good thing for the EVs going forward. Final comments, uh, Dr. Munjal. You know, this is a, uh, this budget also spoke a lot about digitization. In fact, if you see uh, the top three words in uh, Finance Minister's speech, they were growth, invest, and infrastructure. That's the big message which has gone out. Um, final comments from you as far as the union budget goes. I know better than to ask you to rate it because you're not going to do it. Well, you answered my, your question yourselves. I started with the fact that it is a, a progressive and a very good growth-oriented budget. 
which which puts it in perspective and uh, of course there's policy certainty there's been again no gray areas um, in the fine print as well so it's good to see that the budget after 2021 the new one has also done that dr munjal uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, live today here on et now and being so candid with your views thank you thank you very much